I'm Michael Faust. Um, I'm the lead fabricator, um, concept designer at Global for Enterprise. I'm Matt Valentine, and I do conceptual design and sculpting, molding, and painting uh, by Global for Enterprises. The thing about Global for Enterprises, uh, it, it's like the, the dirty secret in the industry. Um, it's, it, you have haunts that come in, uh, owners that will come in, will look at our stuff, and they want to use that to elevate their level that other markets aren't using, other haunted attractions aren't using, because it's such a unique style. It's something that doesn't exist. Um, it doesn't exist out in the world, it's what we like to say, it's what we like to create. We were raised very religious, so we were, you always gravitate towards things you're denied. So we were, we were denied horror, Halloween, and all that fun stuff. And so um, uh, as we got older, we started to delve into that and get into uh, makeup and uh, drawing and, and effects. And uh, from there, it branched out into, uh, we, we met a local haunted house and uh, kind of uh, allowed us to expand on our creativity and design and, and characters and costumes. Creating something, fabricating it, and making it come to life. Uh, at least for me, it's what I've seen it. Seeing it in motion, instead of just a still fat, you know, like, like Michelangelo, what it's sculpting something and seeing it like come to life and move around. Like that, that's, to me, that's what, what the joy I get out of it. Yeah, I think when you create something, that's when you're the closest to God. When you design something, you breathe life into it. And it's more than a portrait or a painting that just hangs on a wall. You actually see it interact and, and within that world and surrounding atmosphere that you've created. You can see it breathe and move with other characters and costumes and, and customers. So I, I think it's, it's that whole Willy Wonka effect of creating the, the world in your imagination. Yeah, every character has it goes through a, a development plan of, um, I never create anything that's predisposed, so we don't have a zombie or we don't have like an, a, a character that's already been created and done. I go through a lot of esoteric knowledge and, 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 and background stories of, of books and biblical books and Dead Sea Scrolls, and so all that, all that information Usually when you create something that's from you and your dreams and your experiences and your childhood, you get the most purest form of imagination. And, and from that, that's where you're going to get that uniqueness, the stylized feel that no one else has. And so each character has multiple layers of, of, of backstory to it. And from there, um, that's what gives us the juice and the drive to make these. Other people who buy them will be like, they can make them whatever they want. They'll fit whatever theme they want. But for us, that's, that's, that's the juice to make those characters. Where any examples of where where some of the stuff's being used? Um, we have uh, Netherworld. Um, what was it? Uh, Rom Zombie's Great American Nightmare. Um, uh, Tim Witch's House of Horrors and uh, Haunted Catacombs, in Buffalo, New York. Uh, Bennett's Curse. Alan Bennett has uh, them there. And we've got a, just a, a plethora of different haunts. So we. You know, those are some of the top haunts that we that we have on our belt. But a lot of them are just random different haunted houses that are starting out or that may be well known that are buying our. They may be, you know, a couple, one or two to start out. Um, but we really cater towards haunt or horror industry. We also do some makeup effects. We do some film work, and stuff like that. But it's all. Uh, it's basically we, we. I think we offer something that's very unique and packaged that other attract, uh, vendors don't offer. It's that stylized feel that if you want to feel unique, different, and stand out above the rest and give you that epic impact, then you want to come to Global Fear. And when we say Global Fear, we do mean global. We have costumes in Australia, costumes in Paris, costumes, Japan. You know, yeah, Japan. Like. It's, it's, it's exciting when we get an overseas email and it's like, hey, I want your costume, you know? I saw this, you know, from, from here and I heard about it, I want your costume. Like, it's always exciting to get that overseas email.